Hi, I'm Mrs. Timmons and today I'm going to show you how to use a resource list in the library catalog. First you need to get to the library catalog. So go to only two clicks and click on the HH library catalog picture. That will bring you to Destiny, our library catalog, and you need to log in with your own username and password. So go to the top right hand corner and click the login button. And just like everything else on campus, it's going to use your same username and password, first.last.year. So I'm going to pretend for this example that our student is named first name book, last name girl, and she's graduating in 2025. So that is her username. You don't need to include the at harpethhall.org at the end. And again, I'm going to use the same password that's used for everything else on campus. That should let our book girl into her account. You can tell that it worked because here you will see your name. From uh, After you've logged in, you can now see a few more things that you couldn't see before. So I'm going to go into my info. And notice that I can see the books that I have checked out. And I can also see this new thing called resource list. This is what we're going to look at today. If I click on resource list, it's already highlighted my list. I can see all the lists that I have access to. Uh, now, I have already created a book list for this girl. It's for her Global Scholars Project on Media Bias. It's already in here and it's already shared with her teachers. So if you are doing the Global Scholars program, you may already have a book list in there. If you wanted to create a new book list, you could just go to Add List and say books I want to read and create a list just like that. After you've created your list, go to the Catalog tab and search for something on your topic. So since my Global Scholars subject is Media Bias, I'm just going to do a quick search in the catalog on media bias. And when it brings me back a list of books, notice that here in the top right hand corner, I can pick a selected list. So I'm going to pick my Global Scholars Book Girl list. And once I've selected that, I can actually use this Add to List button and put any books that are on my topic in my list so that I can remember them and go back and get them later. I can put them on hold. So I'm just going to add a couple books onto my list. So now when I go back into resource list and I click on my global list, all of my books are listed right there in an easy place. So now I can come into the library, find the call numbers, hopefully find my books right away and uh, be ready to go and start my research. Thanks. Bye.